What's going on guys, it's Vamps here bringing you episode 5 of my level cap to gold cap challenge. Uh, today we're just going to go ahead and open up the mailbox and see what all sold. So right off the bat here we got 2,000 gold. A lot of our herbs that we bought last episode have been selling which is really good. Our volatiles uh, cloth, just going to go ahead and collect all this. I do know that two transmog pieces sold as well so that's good for us. Um, I think they're about 2,000 gold a piece so. 4,000 gold in transmog sales from what I'm aware of at this moment. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a bunch of mats over here that I definitely need to go relist. I'm gonna go reload real quick. All right, so the second opening here, we got 8,200 gold. Here are the two um, transmog pieces I was talking about. A lot more herbs, a lot more mats. I uh, got rid of the ember silk cloth, which is good too. And just gonna go ahead and collect this real quick. So the farm I'm going to do today is one that was suggested by a viewer. I'm going to go ahead and hit up Wailing Caverns, going to run that 10 times. And uh, hopefully we get some good items there. I know there's a couple rares, there's uh, the pet, the deviate hatchling. Um, there's also a couple uh, nice green pieces like the ceremonial loincloth. So if we can manage to get one or two of those items, I think that'd be really good for us so that we can throw it up on the auction house. Um, also I'm back at school, so uploads aren't going to be as frequent but I'm still looking at getting at least two to three uploads out per week. Um, one thing I can't promise is that I'll get at least one to two of these uh, gold cap challenge videos out per week, uh, just cause I'm gonna be really busy at school this semester, taking a lot of credits. So I'm um, just gonna have to see how things work out with that. So the last mailbox, we got about 2000 gold to collect. And um, one thing I did wanna talk about is that I did get rid of alchemy and I picked up leatherworking. And someone had mentioned this in the comments on an earlier video. My idea was that I was going to make a lot of gold with alchemy because of the new raid coming out. But I realized I was going to have to farm up a lot of reputation in order to get to rank 3s. And I didn't think that was going to be worth the time. So went ahead and ditched alchemy and spent about 6,000 gold and leveled up leatherworking. So I'm at 120 already and I already have all the patterns except for the uh, raid patterns which are BOP so it doesn't really apply to us for this challenge. So I'm going to start doing some PvP so that I can rank up these uh, Sinister pieces because if you look, Sinister pieces are really really profitable. 7,000 gold for this, 9,000 gold for this, and that's just on rank 1. So if I get to rank 3, I can see profits of these being like 12, 13k. And their sale rate's also pretty decent, 0.21 here, 0.19 there. If we look at the male stuff, little lower sale rate but still decent profits a little lower than the leather but that's okay um, but yeah like I said we're gonna go ahead and do whaling caverns today so I'm gonna go ahead and head there and I'll see you there all right so I just got done running uh, whaling caverns ten times um, results weren't that bad I got two of the pets I also got three of the rares I got a decent amount of transmog that some of it's worth some decent amount but I think it could have been a better run, I just didn't have that much luck. I also got a few patterns and some herbs. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and back to Stormin, throw this all up on the auction house, and then I'll go over what I've got listed right now. Alright, so we're building up pretty good transmog stock here, and we've got about 490 auctions listed already. We're getting close to a million gold, which is really good. Um, got about 150 transmog items so far, so we still need to build that up a lot. And... One thing I do want to point out is that I have five of these sky shards, so either in the next episode or the episode after that, I'll be killing the Alani mount, and we'll get that on the auction house too, so that'll add about another 130,000 gold to our auction house item value. Um, also, I only did one dungeon for, the, for today, I'm going to go ahead and farm up some BFA herbs in order to supplement our sales, because I don't think we're going to sell much transmog over the next couple days. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day.